Okay, just keep keep them closed. All right. I'm scared too. Okay, you can open your eyes now. <laughs> oh, it's all good, dude. Oh, dude, it's so funny because there's like so much Spider-Man merchandise everywhere. What's going on you guys? It is Corbin Stuckey of Pixel Talk here, and today we're going to be checking out the latest Funko Pops for Avengers Infinity War. As you guys know, if you've watched my channel, if you've watched all my movie reviews or even trailer reactions, you know that I like Funko Pops a lot. I have them in the background of my videos all the time, and you guys aren't even really seeing all the Funko Pops that I own. Those are just all the Funko Pops that I have that fit in my background, that fit on the screen when you're watching the video. I have actually a lot more. Uh, perhaps I will do a Funko Pop reveal one day of my entire collection. But today we're just gonna be talking about the Avengers Infinity War Funko Pops that were released today. Uh, you can find these at FYE, you can find these at Hot Topic, and just any general place that sells Funko Pops, really. I think their initial release date is gonna be for March 3rd tomorrow. For some reason they were releasing them like early today, so you might be able to go out right now and buy these. If they haven't been snatched, because a lot of people want these a lot. And I love doing toy reviews because I did a toy review back in 2015 when I was doing the toy reviews for Force Awakens. And I, it's fun like looking back at those videos and just speculating just from the toys themselves and like creating the fan theories. And that's essentially what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be checking out what the toys look like on the spot and just seeing what's on the toys, like what they could possibly mean for Avengers Infinity War. So yeah, let's get started. So the first one I wanna check out, this is the Hulkbuster. I already have a Hulkbuster from Age of Ultron, but this looks like it's a different Hulkbuster. It looks like the version that we see in Infinity War. We'll get to that point after we're done looking at this. It's really cool. Um, it's something different about this one. I do like this one a lot. The difference between this one and the one that I have is that this one is like turned a little bit. Uh, the one that I have is like standing straight forward, whereas this one is kind of like turned in its box. So I think that's really cool. I think that's a really interesting take on a Funko Pop in a package, really. Speaking of different angles, we have the Iron Man from Avengers Infinity War. This one's really weird. Like I said, for the Hulkbuster, it's not straightforward. This one is um, at an angle because it has a blaster and wants to showcase that it does have like a weapon of some sorts. He kind of looks like Mega Man, which I find really cool. And he's got like wings as well. He kind of looks like a mixture of Iron Man, Mega Man, and Buzz Lightyear because he's got like a blaster and wings. So yeah, that's really cool. I think it's gonna be a really cool collector's item because of just the way that it is like in the box. Next one we've got is Captain America. Uh, interesting enough, this is actually titled Captain America. This is not titled Nomad because we all know that he kind of gives up the Captain America mantle uh, in Civil War when he drops his shield. So this is what he looks like in Infinity War. He's got a beard, his hair is kind of combed back and longer, obviously but he's still titled Captain America. I think that's really cool. I think I kind of understand why they did that. Like Nomad's not really like a recognizable name. They want to put Captain America on the box to sell the toy. I would have been fine if they just called him Steve Rogers too. So, I mean, but still, it's really cool how they still called him Captain America. And just, I like the uh, costume. It's definitely faded. Uh, the white's gone, it's almost gray. And it looks like he ripped off the star too. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, the next one I'm going to be talking about, and this one's really interesting, is Thor from Avengers Infinity War. Now, if you guys saw Thor Ragnarok, spoilers for Thor Ragnarok, Thor loses his eye. So that's like really interesting that we have Thor and it kind of looks like he still has an eye. It just kind of looks like that he has a scar going through his right eye. Um, there's not like an eye patch or anything like that. It's literally just him with a scar around his eye. And interesting really is he has a hammer in this. So I think like from the trailer that we saw, he forges a new hammer, so I think that's gonna be really cool and interesting to see in the movie. And it looks like the hammer actually has like um, some wood, like vines around it. So it, there's been a lot of speculation that Groot is going to help him make a new hammer, like make him a handle for his hammer. And I just think that's really cool that they included the hammer and it kind of looks like the ultimate storyline hammer. Um, I don't really know about the eye. I mean, this could just be like to not spoil people. Maybe he still is going to have an eye patch in the movie, but if he does get his eye back, then that's really interesting. Next one we've got is Black Widow. Uh, as you guys can see, Black Widow has white blonde hair. She might be going undercover or under hiding in Avengers Infinity War because of the events of Civil War. Um, so she goes from a redhead to a white blonde. I think that's really cool. 
Um, she looks like she's got like some uh, camo gear going on. It looks uh, kind of green and black. Also, she has like the staff, which is really cool. I don't know if she gets that in Wakanda or something like that, but it definitely looks really Wakanda-like, or maybe that's just like a staff that belongs to her. But yeah, it's still really cool. Uh, I like how it's just different. It's not her in a black skin suit again. It looks very military. I think that's really cool. Also, we've got Iron Spider. That's really interesting. They did not call this Spider-Man. They called him Iron Spider. As you can see, he's got the Spider-Man suit that Tony Stark gives him in Spider-Man Homecoming. That's really interesting. And I just, I love this design. I don't really consider this Iron Spider though. I mean, I know the suit is probably made out of like iron. I consider the suit from Civil War to be Iron Spider-Man. This doesn't really look like that suit. That suit's like more red and yellow, but I can go with this. I mean, there is some yellow on here. And interesting, that I, something that I haven't really noticed yet, but the Spider-Man emblem on the suit is not black, it's blue. I don't know if that's just like the toy or if that's just gonna be a thing in the movie, but the emblem close up is a blue emblem, so that's really cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and put these guys down so I can reach for these other figures. So the next figure we're gonna be looking at is Groot. This is Teenage Groot, I think, and uh, he looks he looks mad, he looks irritated. I really like this figure, and he looks like he's got like a weird looking weapon. It's like a machine gun or rifle or, or something like that. I don't know what this is. It could be Wakanda weapon base. It could be just from outer space. It almost looks Chitauri. And mind you, this is the only Guardians of the Galaxy Funko Pop that they've released so far for Avengers Infinity War. And it makes sense because Groot is that character from Guardians of the Galaxy that is very merchandise based. There's, you know, baby Groot. There's even Groot alone, just the idea that this is like an adorable creature, like tree-like thing. And it looks like we finally have a Teenage Groot. I think we already have a Teenage Groot Funko Pop, but that's from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and I believe that's an exclusive. But this is him from Infinity War, and it looks like he's got a gun, so that's really cool. And it looks like what we've got here is Proxima Midnight. These are characters from the comics. These are uh, the children of Thanos. They're kind of like his servants, really. And uh, you know, this is just really cool that they finally released these uh, toys. I don't know if people are really gonna know these characters a whole bunch, but once the movies come out, everyone will have a better understanding of who they are. If you want to know who these characters are, just, you know, read the comics. This is Corvus Glaive. Kind of sounds like Corbin Stecky, right? Or, or not. That's fine. And this is a guy with like a staff, so that's like really cool, uh, really interesting character. I don't really know a whole lot about the children of Thanos. That's why I'm just kind of skimming through these characters. Uh, Ebony Ma. Um, that's, that's really cool. He just kind of looks like the smart guy out of the group. I'm really gonna have to go back to the comics because I don't remember a whole lot about these characters, but they look cool. I'm glad that there are merchandises for these characters, so awesome. There's another character from the Children of Thanos. His name is Black Dwarf. Uh, he wasn't included in this first line of Avengers Infinity War Funko Pops. Uh, we're probably gonna be seeing him right near when the movie's released. They're gonna be releasing more of these figures. These are just the figures that they've released before the movie. So maybe like after the movie or as we get closer to the movie, they're gonna be releasing more Avengers Infinity War Funko Pops. This is what we just have so far. So maybe Black Dwarf will be released uh, around that time, but this is all we have. And finally, we're gonna be talking about this guy, Thanos. Oh my God, this is such a cool figure. And he's got the Infinity Gauntlet on here. Um, I love how he's smiling. This proves that he's going to be like a really menacing character in Avengers Infinity War. I, I can't wait. And uh, if we look on the back, these are all the characters that I showcased. Um, so you guys already know that these are the characters that you can get. There are exclusives that are available. I think Hot Topic is giving away a shiny looking Vision toy. For some reason, my Hot Topic didn't have Vision. They were supposed to be getting them in, but apparently the, the shipment didn't go through, I have no idea why. They didn't know why either. So I guess we're just gonna have to be patient for Vision. Maybe I can get a Monday if they possibly ship him in. But uh, yeah, those were all the Funko Pops that I was able to get today for Avengers Infinity War. And yeah, I think these are really cool. These are really cool figures and I'm definitely gonna be saving these because these are definitely collector's items. It's Avengers, of course they are. So yes guys, those are all the Funko Pops that I got today. And if you stayed near the end of this video, you are now able to have a chance to win a prize and that is an iron spider. I got an extra one today because I really like doing giveaways for you guys. And uh, yeah, this is how you can win the iron spider. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram and donate a dollar to my Patreon. And that's all you have to do to win this iron spider. Oh, and comment down below that you did all these steps and I'm just gonna pick a comment and look to see if you did these steps and I'm going to announce in the next review that I do, who won the Funko Pop. I definitely wanna give this one away because this looks like it's gonna be the hardest one to get. And yeah. So yes guys, this is my Funko Pop collection for today. If you'd like to see more Funko Pop videos, just comment down below, like this video. And yeah, comment down below just in general what you wanna see more in the future, like the video, share it, and please subscribe to Pixel Talk if you haven't yet for more movie reviews, trailer reactions, possible toy reviews, and gaming content. 
Thank you guys so much. I am Corbett Stuckey and this is Pixel Talk.